A very short tutorial on how to create a new purchase order in Salesforce. So navigate your browser to salesforce.com. Go to login. And you should already have a username. Um, if not, uh, search your email for Salesforce and uh, you should have one uh, asking you to set up an account. If not, uh, you can email me directly. So now we're logged in. Uh, we landed right on purchase orders. If not, it should be right up here in your, your top tabs. So we'll go new, new purchase order. We'll fill out the form. Say this is for sponsorship costs. We're going to attach it to an account in Salesforce. We'll say AOL. Um, if the account does not exist already, you can just click new here and just add one. It's no problem. Um, we'll see the amount. 500. Payment date is tomorrow. And description is the test. Now the difference here, I'm going to hit save. This actually is not going to send it for approval uh, as it did in workflow gen. There's going to be another step beyond this. So I'll hit save. Now I have the option to submit for approval. Click here. Now it's telling me actually I need to attach a quote before I can submit this for approval. So I scroll down to attach file here. Attach a file. And now I'm ready to submit for approval. So this is actually this is the gonna send it to your manager. So I hit submit for approval. And there we go. Now we can see the step is manager approval and it's pending. If I scroll down here in the window, I have the approval history. It's telling me when it was submitted. Um, and who it's waiting on right now and the status which is pending. Uh, so that's pretty much it. Uh, when uh, your PO is actually approved, you're going to get this email back saying uh, uh, email approved and what the number is and uh, how much it was for. And if you're a manager and someone below you submits a PO for approval, you're going to get this email uh, saying that your approval is needed uh, and here are the details of the PO. Uh, you have two options. You can either type, you can reply directly back to the email, typing approved, hit send, uh, and it will update, in, update it in the system. Uh, or you can click here and it will take you directly into the record. And if we just scroll down, right here I have the option to reassign, approve, or reject. I go here, say test, good, click approve and now you'll see it's approved in the system. Um, and that's pretty much it.